dental sequence for you. Um, all you'll need for it is a belt, um, a tie, a bathrobe, belt, anything that works for you, an actual belt off your jeans will work. And then for sitting up, like I'm doing now, a block, maybe a couple of books, or even better, a blanket, which you can use then at the end of the class. Okay, so we're gonna to start today uh, from lying down. So get yourself nice and comfy on your mat, making sure the neck's nice and long. You can leave the feet flat out, or if you prefer, bend up the knees, bring the feet about as wide as your mat, and let the knees fall in against each other. From here, dropping those hands flat to the mat, palms facing up, and we're just gonna take a few seconds just to focus on our breath here, doing what's called the centering. So just checking in, feeling where you can feel the breath in the body. Eyes closed if you can. And then we're just gonna take maybe one hand, maybe two, or maybe just the awareness down to the belly. So pop that hand above the belly button, below the ribs, and then we start to send our breath right down so that as we inhale, we can feel the, the belly moving underneath the hand. And right away you'll notice you've got a nice deep breath on the go, which should hopefully help you to relax. So we'll do another three of these. In and out through the nose if you can, but use the mouth if it's more comfortable. One more breath. Lovely. And we'll try to keep that nice deep breathing going as we move through the class. So we'll just take the two hands down to the sides of the body, palms facing down. And as we inhale, taking those hands up and behind the head. See if you can get the palms to come down to the back of the floor. Make sure your block, your blanket's not in the way. Exhale, down we go. Twice more, move with your own breath. If you make a little bit more of it each time, maybe point into the toes, arch the back away, and out and down. And one more time, reaching right up. Maybe bringing the fingers together, reaching into the toes, and breathe out, down we come. Lovely. Then we're gonna leave the hands where they are. We'll bend up the right knee first. Take that foot just off the ground, right thighs pointing straight up to the ceiling, and we start to make little circles, just starting to warm up the hips. Again, you can keep your eyes closed for this bit. You'll feel the stretch a bit more, and back the other way we go. And swapping it over. Right leg down, left leg up, foot off the ground, and little circles one way and the other. So even though the knee feels like the knee's moving, it's coming from the hips. And down, love it. Okay, so from there, we're gonna grab our belt, our tie, whatever it is, a piece of rope, whatever you've got uh, to help you for this next part of the pose. We're gonna bring the two knees up and over the chest, lift the head off the ground, head and shoulders, and just wrap that belt around the balls of the feet, and then nice and slowly send those feet up towards the ceiling. If you're really feeling that, you can bend those knees. If you can, try to keep them nice and straight, arms nice and straight too. Now we're gonna be here for about six breaths, and to make it harder on yourself, as you exhale, you can gently point those toes down towards the body and press the heels up towards the ceiling. So again, eyes closed, breathing in. And nice and slowly breathing out. Pressing those heels away, toes coming down towards the body. You'll feel this in the back of the knees. You might feel it in the front of the legs. Just 
two more breaths. And then to come out of it, just bend the knees slightly, pop that belt from around the feet and drop it behind you in the mat. So from there, bring the feet back to the ground and we're going to come to sit up. So you can just turn onto one side of your mat, pop your top hand to the ground and nice and gently press yourself up. From there then, we're coming to easy cross legs. Um, now if your hips are a little bit tight, uh, having that blanket or that block to sit on really helps to open them up. Mine are a little bit tight today and you can see straight away that helps you to sit up that little bit taller. Don't worry if you don't have the yoga block, even a towel, uh, fold it up, give it a go. Alright, so you can pause the video if you want to run and grab something. Um, otherwise, we'll keep going and we'll get started just by hands coming to the knees, taking a nice deep breath in to lift that chest. And as we breathe out, right here, right shoulder. Move with the breath here, breathe it into center. Breathe it out, left ear, left shoulder. Breathe it into center. Breathe out, dropping that chin to the chest. Into center. And one last time, breathe out, look up. And down we come. You can round the spine a little here if you like, and we're going to go into that again. So inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, ready your right shoulder. Breathing it in back to center. Breathing out left ear, left shoulder. In the center. Breathing out, dropping that chin to the chest. Breathing it in and breathe out, look up. And back down we come. On the next inhale, shoulders coming up, don't know what that was. Shoulders coming up to the ears. Exhale, nice and slowly back down. We'll do that another two times. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, shoulders down. One more time, inhale, shoulders up, and exhale, relax and down. Lovely. From there, we'll take the hands out to the side of the hips now. As we inhale, reaching up and overhead, keeping the head looking forward, and exhaling, down we go. Another two times. Move with your own breath in this now. Breathe in, take it up. And exhale down. And one more time. Inhale, up we come. Exhale, and down. And then from there, we're going to take the hands up and overhead. Link the fingers together. If you can feel the shoulders coming up, just bend at the elbows so that the shoulders drop down. And from there, we're going to place the hands just on the back of the head. From there, we're gonna take a nice deep breath in to sit nice and tall, lifting that chest up. You'll feel that in your lower back. And as you exhale, just gently tilting that chin down to the chest. Now don't use the hands to force the head forward. They're just there as a little bit of kind of a guide to help you nice and gently bring that chin down to the chest. And you'll really get into the shoulders in this way as well. So if you like, you can bring those elbows back as you tilt the chin down towards the, the chest. And we'll do two breaths here. Nice and slow. Chest is nice and open. One more bonus breath, breathe it in. And then as you breathe out nice and slowly, taking those arms apart and giving me a shake. Great. Okay, so from there, we're gonna take the right hand, just bring it out in front of the body, uh, fingers pointing forward, take a nice deep breath in, and as you breathe out, just nice and slowly bringing that hand across the left side of the body, 
You can take your left hand then up either below the elbow or up above it and just get a stretch into the backs of the shoulders here. So we're not crushing the shoulder up into the neck again. We're sitting nice and tall. If you need to, take the hand a little bit lower down, left hand on the right, on the right arm and just find that stretch in your body. We'll do a couple of breaths here. Close the eyes and just really get into it. If you like, turning that head to look over the right shoulder as well. And then we'll swap over. So nice and slowly, right hand down. Taking the left hand up, fingers pointing forward. Deep breath in, lift the chest up, breathe it out. Taking that hand over the right side of the body and hand above or below the elbow. Again, making sure the shoulder's not squeezing yet, keeping it nice and relaxed and guiding that left hand across the body. Again, three breaths here, breathe it in, nice and long through the neck and as you breathe out, if you like, turn that head over the left shoulder. Back we come to centre and again, well for the first time maybe rounding those shoulders forward. If you go forward, take them back as well and from there we'll come on to the shins. So nice and slowly, if you've got your blanket or your block on you, pop it to one side. Coming on to the knees, knees as wide as the mat or as wide as is comfortable. Pop the hands in front of you and then nice and slowly lowering it down to the floor. Keeping the arms straight if you can forehead down to your mat. If that's not comfortable, bend the elbows and you can just let the head rest down towards the floor. Whatever works for you. And we're here for three breaths. On your next inhale, lifting the head slightly, walk those hands to the right, breathe out and back down we go. And again, you can keep those elbows belt bent if you want and just take the head to the mat. And one more time, lifting the head, walking hands back to centre and out we go to the other side. And again, either down off the elbows or stretching those arms away. And you should feel a lovely stretch down the right side of the body in this one. And we're here for three breaths. And on the next inhale, back we come to center. And from there, we're walking the hands back into the body and coming up onto the hands and knees. So we're coming up into table now. So we're gonna get a nice solid base going here. So make sure the fingers are nice and wide. We're pressing down into all 10 knuckles. Wrists, elbows, shoulders are stacked one on top of the other. Knees are hip width apart. Feet are flat out behind you. And then we'll go into our cat cow. So as we inhale, belly drops to the floor, tilt that pelvis down, press through the hands, looking forward. As we exhale, reverse it, push the back away. Head is, crown of the head is parallel to the floor and you're looking between the legs. And we'll do another four of those. So move with your own breath here, as much or as quick or as slow as you like. But I find the slower the better. Trying to keep those arms straight if you can. And just noticing if any parts of the spine feel a little bit, a little bit sore, a little bit tight. And nice full breaths here. No rush.
Lovely. And from here, we're going to go into our downward dog. Um, we'll keep the knees bent on this first one. So staying in the, in the table pose. And all we're going to do as we inhale is look forward. You might move the body forward just a little and get a stretch of the forearms. And as we exhale, we tuck our toes, move our body weight towards the back of the mat. And when we can't go back any further, we just push into the toes and lift the bum up towards the ceiling. Let the head hang, looking through the legs. Keep those knees nice and bent. And just really try and press the chest and the armpits back towards the legs. So you get a really nice stretch in the upper shoulders. We'll do two more breaths here. This is actually a rest and pose, so enjoy it, guys. One more breath in. And then as we breathe out nice and slowly, back down, we come to our knees. We'll untuck our toes and we'll take a quick break here. So bring the two knees and the ankles together. Sit the bum back onto the heels. You can stack the hands one on top of the other and rest the forehead there. Or if you prefer, you can take the hands back the ankles and try to get the head to rest on the mat. So that's child's pose. Um, if that's not working for you, you can bring the legs out just a little and let the belly rest in between. And wherever you are, take another two breaths there and then we'll head on with the rest of the, of the poses. Okay, so on your next inhale, nice and slowly bringing yourself up to sit like me in hero pose. We're going to go into our kneel and sun salutations. Okay, so either starting bums to heel or high kneeling, whatever works for you, bringing the hands to the heart. On your next inhale, taking those hands up and overhead. And as you breathe out, hands to the mat into our forward fold. Inhale. Coming up to table. Exhale, tucking the toes and pushing up into downward dog. Now you can keep those knees bent or you can walk the legs out. Walking the dog, this one's called. Or if you're happy enough, you can just go into the full dog and just press those heels down towards the mat. Still working and pressing those hands into the front of the mat and pushing the hips up towards the ceiling. And wherever you are, we'll do two more breaths here. And then in the next exhale, nice and slow, back onto the knees, untuck the toes, back onto the heels. Take a wee break here. And in the next inhale, the hands come up, Stretching the fingers and down we go. So we'll do that two more times. Inhale, up we come. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up to table. Exhale, up to whatever variation of dog you like. If you want to work a little bit harder in this one, as you inhale, reach one leg up and exhale, knee to chest. So we're here for three breaths. So whichever variation you want. Then feet back down. One more breath in. And as we breathe out, knees down, untuck the toes, back to the heels. And on your next inhale, reaching up. And back down we come. You're doing really well. One more to go. Inhale and up. Exhale and down. Inhale and up. Exhale, tucking the toes and up to down dog. Whatever variation you like now for three breaths. And then coming back to that full dog if you can, or bent leg dog. And on the next exhale, down to the knees, untuck the toes, back to the heels. 
We'll do two breaths down here. And inhale, take those hands up. Exhale, hands to heart. Lovely. Okay, so rolling them shoulders. And from here, we're going to come to standing. So you can do that however you like. If you want to join with me, that's cool. We're going to tuck the toes, rolling the body weight back onto the heels, keeping the hands in front. And then we're going to lift the bum up first. And then nice and slowly roll that body up. I say lovely a lot. Okay, so from there, we're gonna come into the middle of the mat, or just facing me, and we're gonna to come to mountain pose. So we bring the, the feet together, front of the feet together, keep a wee space between the heels. If you feel a bit wobbly, take the feet slightly further apart. Get into those knees, pull the kneecaps in and up. You'll know you've got that if you feel the quads engage. Coming up to the hips then, this is really good to do this at, at a mirror actually. Um, just to make sure you're doing it right with the hips. So you don't want to have the bum pointing out. You want to have the hips pushing forward. You want the, the tailbone to be tucked down and just to feel nice and strong in the hip area. Okay, so then we're going to pull the glute muscles in towards the midline, belly in towards the spine, roll them shoulders back, bring the hands out to the side, reach into all 10 fingers, Keep the neck nice and long, shoulders nice and down if you can. And then we're going to do five breaths here. So again, close the eyes if you can. Keep them open if you feel a little bit wobbly. And poses like this are great for bringing the heart rate back down, and bringing the breathing back under control as well. So really enjoy it. And if you can, just bring your awareness down into the feet. Try to press into the four corners of the feet behind the big toe, little toe, and the two heels. While you're bringing awareness to the feet, try also to bring awareness to the crown of the head, just the, towards the back of the, the top of the head, lifting that towards the ceiling. So we're nice and long through the neck. And we're thinking length and elongation from top of the head right down into the feet. We do one more breath in. And as we breathe out, relax in all those muscles and just feel the difference that makes in the body. Maybe give the hips a wee wiggle as well. Okay, so from there, we're gonna come into a little bit of tree prep. And um, we're gonna come up onto the tiptoes of the left foot we're pressing down again, right down into that right foot, not into the toes now, into the sole of the foot. And as we inhale, we're just going to lift that left knee, no higher than the hip. And as we exhale, down we go. Get a wee wobble, try not to worry too much. We'll do another few of those, so inhale and up. Exhale and down. Inhale and up. Exhale and down. And one more time to inhale. This time knee goes as high as you can, higher than the hip if you can. Hold it there just for a second. And then in your next exhale, down we go. And again, give the hips a wee wiggle. On we go to, the, to lifting the right leg up. So pressing down to the sole of the left foot, up onto the right toes. Inhale and up. Exhale and down. You can put the whole foot back onto the ground if you like. It doesn't throw you off too much. But you can equally just leave just the toes on the ground. And one last time, as high as we can go this time. Right knee comes the whole way up over the hips. Holding it there, pressing into that standing leg. Feel that in front of the hip. And on your next exhale, down we go, and give them hips a wee wiggle. Great. Okay, so from there, and um, we're coming straight into tree, pressing down through that right leg, up onto the tip toes of the left foot. Turn the foot and knee out to the side, rest in the ankle, heel on the ankle. And from there, we're just lifting up then through the chest. We're here for three breaths, hands are in mountain. You can bring them to the heart, 
or you can bring them up and overhead, whatever works for you. Here you can close the eyes if your balance is good, otherwise keep them open and look at a point at eye level or above. If you're looking down, it pulls the whole body down. If you'd like to go a little bit further as we inhale, nice and gently lift that foot up and place it on the inner calf. We're here for three breaths. if you've got wobbles like me and um, use that and really try and see if you can keep that balance if you want to go to the last step then we use that prep that we did bringing that left knee up as high as we can bend your standing leg to allow you to come down and wrap around the heel and then just place it right in at the very top of the inner thigh and back out we come with the hands you can leave them there if you like or bring them mountain harder overhead. Wherever you are, we're here for three breaths. And then to come out of it, again, bending that standing leg just a little, reaching down, lift that foot off, and down we come, and give the knees a wee shake out. And on to the next side. So up onto the tiptoes of the right foot, turn that foot and knee out to the side, rest and heel onto ankle, and three breaths on this side too. If you'd like to go further as you inhale, lifting that foot onto the inner calf. And don't be afraid to move the foot around as well to, to find what where's comfortable for you. And one last time, you can keep that foot there, you can bring it back down, but if you'd like to bring it the whole way to the top, bending that knee up as high as you can, bend your standing leg, reaching down to wrap around that right heel and pressing it right in at the top of your thigh. And again, we're here for three breaths. Okay, and on the next exhale, just again, bending the standing leg, reaching down, lifting that foot off, and down we come, and give them hips a little wiggle. Great. So from there, we're going to start coming back down towards the floor now. Um, we're going to start by bringing the legs out about four, about three and a half, four foot wide on the mat. I think that's right. So we're going into a forward fold here. Um, come into it as much as you want. Stay up nice and tall as well if you want. You will still feel it. Um, you want to have the toes pointing forward, hands onto the hips. Take a nice deep breath in, looking up. If you want a little back bend, and then as you breathe out nice and slowly, starting to pivot forward from the hips. So as the body starts to move forward, you're pushing the bum towards the back of the mat and you'll feel that in the back of your legs. Now you can stay here if you're feeling it. You can bend the knees a little as well if you need to. This will get a bit of work on the lower back as well, if you, um, which is always good to build a bit of strength there. Otherwise, if you can, keep going on down towards the floor. When the body is parallel to the floor, you can take the hands out. Now, if you can, continue on down, let those hands rest on the floor. If you've got a chair or even your block or anything like that that you want to pop in front of you, go for it. And if you can, you can start to flatten the hands and nice and slowly let the head start to hang. So you want the crown of the head to be parallel with the floor if you can. Toes are still pointing forward, bending the knees a little if you need to. 
and we're here we'll go for four breaths wherever you are just really pressing towards the back of your mat so you feel that stretch along the backs of the legs and breathing nice and deep don't forget to breathe you can walk the feet slightly wider apart if you like you can also walk them in if you're really feeling it and keep a wee bend in the knees so wherever you are for two more breaths to go so come out of it on an inhale we bend the knees again pop the hands onto the hips and nice and slowly lift yourselves back up and then start to scooch those feet together lovely so from there then we're going to come down onto the knees and we're going to come down onto the bottoms actually for our last pose so nice and gently lowering yourself down the floor and we're coming into our window wipers here so bringing the hands out um, at shoulder level straight out if you can if you can't just bring them into cactus shape bending up the knees making sure the lower back is nice and tight against the floor and then we're going to imagine that someone super glued the knees and the ankles together we're going to take a nice deep breath in and as we breathe out two sets of knees and ankles nice and gently start to come to the right side of the mat now they might not touch the ground that's okay don't worry about that don't be letting them fall apart so that you can get one to the ground and letting the top foot slip off keep them wherever they are we're going to do six breaths here so your body weight will naturally with each exhale as the body relaxes bring you a little bit closer to the floor when the legs are comfy you can turn your head to look over the left shoulder if you like and we're doing another four breaths here So we're back to that belly breathing from the start, nice and slow, in through the nose, out through the nose or mouth, what's ever comfortable for you. I'm losing the ability to speak now. We'll go for one more breath in and out. And then as we inhale, head comes back to center first, knees back to center. And as you exhale, continue on out to the other side. Out to the left, knees together, ankles together. When that's comfortable with the legs, turn in the head to look over the right shoulder if you like. And again, close those eyes. And just really start to enjoy this part the relaxation part of the of the process and that's three breaths in we'll go for three more And then as we inhale, taking the head back to centre first, knees back to centre, and then letting those legs just fall out flat along the mat. Um, if you've got lower back uh, issues, keep those knees bent, feet as wide as the mat, let the knees come in against each other. Take the hands, rest them palms up down by the side of the body, or you can pop them onto the belly if you like. If you've got a blanket, you can throw it over you now. We're just going to do just a minute or so of our belly breathing. So either hands on the mat, hands on the belly, and we're just coming back to focus on the breath again. So just notice them again where we feel it in the body. 
maybe finding that our natural breath is deepened a little with all that focus on the breath as we moved through the poses. And then we're going to encourage the breath just to deepen it, bringing it back down to the belly. So we'll do five breaths here. No rush of the inhale. Really control and slow breath out on the exhale. Hopefully you'll be able to lie here for another two or three minutes or five minutes or ten or an hour, whatever it is. Um, just trying to get to practicing with your own breath. You don't really need me once you've got the practice in your head. It's just a matter of doing it again and again. Hand to the belly, breathing deep. But before we end, we'll take the hands to the heart and take those thumbs just bring them just between the eyebrows. Let's say our namaste together. So breathe it in. And as we breathe out, namaste. So hopefully you can stay here for another while. And thank you for joining me.